Hey guys, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ARC 500 Series Trailer Jack. Why would we want a jack like this? Well, when we compare it to some of the other jacks out there, this one is designed for extreme off-road use, where your other jacks are just designed to maybe hold up the, the tongue of your trailer, maybe roll it around a little bit on a flat surface. With this being an extreme off-road jack, it gives us a lot of different uh, options for moving it even when we're on unleveled terrain, maybe we're in the dirt, mud, sand, something like that. We can actually use this jack as a wheel on our tongue. We think about it this way, with a normal jack, if we're gonna move our trailer, we'd actually have to lift this up and have it hooked to the vehicle. With having this and being able to use it as a third wheel, if our trailer, let's say, gets stuck somewhere, we don't have to back our vehicle and hook up to it, we can keep this down we can hook a chain to it or a winch and pull our trailer out of that spot without having to worry about our vehicle getting stuck also. Now what makes this compatible for off-road use is the construction of it. It's gonna be a very thick steel construction. All the components are gonna have a 600 hour salt spray. So uh, if you live on the coast, maybe you've had a jack that doesn't have any coating on it, you notice that it rusts after a short period of time. With this having the coating on it, you know it's gonna last, we don't have to worry about that corrosion. It's going to be double pinned here on the side for different adjustment heights. We're going to have a single pin here so it allows us to rotate our jack up and store it in the upright position. Now if we move down to the bottom, you'll notice the size of the bracket when we compare it to some of the other ones. This is a much thicker bracket, much more durable. The size of our wheels, now we're not typically going to find these on a, tip, on a regular jack. They're going to be 2 inches wide, 8 inches in circumference, tires are going to be rubber instead of plastic, so it makes it much easier for rolling around uh, on maybe a gravel driveway or in a little bit of dirt or something like that. The wheels themselves are gonna be steel construction with a white powder coat finish, and each wheel is gonna have double bearings in it. What makes this nice is having a wheel this big, it's gonna make it very easy if we're in a garage and we need to get our tongue over into a tighter spot, maybe up against the wall a little bit more. This is gonna make it very easy for you to just push the tongue of your trailer over. Now as far as using our jack, the first thing we want to do is we're going to line this pin up with one of the holes. That's going to really depend on how you have it set up on your trailer. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to lock the wheels in place so they're not sitting there spinning. So we'll go ahead and raise this up. Once we get the pin in, come right up to this blue handle, pull out, allows us to rotate our jack up just like that. Another great feature with this is on a lot of jacks, the handle will sit there and spin. In this one, it's magnetic, so we can pull it off, throw it in a glove box, so it's ready to go for the next time. We don't have to worry about it getting caught on anything or losing it. You'll notice the holes here on the side. This is gonna be for your pin height adjustability. From the center pivot point at the very top to the center pivot point at the very bottom, it's gonna give you a total of seven and five eighths inches of movability here. Another nice thing about it is with it being like this, it's kind of going to act like a drop leg on like your typical jacks. Let's say we're parked in a spot, we have a little divot and uh, right where our jack's got to be hitting the ground or where our wheel is going to be hitting the ground. This is going to allow us to get that wheel closer to the ground so we don't have to do as much cranking. We simply pull on it, allow it to drop, and again, it's going to get us closer so it's going to make it a little bit easier to uncouple from our vehicle. So as far as our height adjustability, with it fully extended, our pin in the highest setting from the ground or from the bottom of the wheel to the center part here, which is our pivot point, we're looking at 30 inches. If we lower our pin all the way down to the lowest setting, fully retract the wheel from the bottom of the wheel to that center pivot point, we're looking at 11 and a half inches, which has given us 18 and a half inches of total height adjustability. Now there's going to be one more height measurement that I want to give you, and this is important for when you're wanting to move the trailer with the wheels on the ground. You'll notice right here on the tube, it's going to be really hard to see, but it is marked there. It's going to say max moving alignment. There's a line right up here. From the ground to that mark is 12 and a quarter inches. So you want to make sure if you're going to be rolling this across the ground or you're going to be dragging it with a vehicle, you want to make sure you lower your jack to that mark before you do. So that, that 12 and a quarter inches doesn't seem that high when you're wanting to pull your trailer out of a situation. But that's where your pin height adjustability comes in. 
The pin height adjustability is going to allow you to get the tone of the trailer up a little bit higher to give you a lot, little bit extra space underneath of the frame. Now, as far as our weight capacity, we're going to have an 1,100 pound max. So that's going to be a static load. And what that means is when it's sitting so like this. Now, with our jack at the movable height adjustment setting, it's going to make it a lot easier to move the tongue of our trailer around, as you can see. Again, having the larger dual, uh, dual wheels on it with the rubber traction uh, makes it easy. Now, can we do this with a typical jack? Yes, we can. But something you got to look at is with a typical jack, probably not going to be a rubber wheel. It's probably going to be plastic. Durability is not going to be as well made as this jack. So you move it around a couple of times, you may end up bending that inside tube, and now your jack's wasted. With this, we don't have to worry about it. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we need to remove our old jack. You want to make sure you either have a couple to a vehicle or you have it on a jack stand to support the weight of the front end of the trailer. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. If you're going to put it in place of your old jack, uh, which is typically on the outside here, the bolts that come with the kit are four two inch wide frames, uh, which is what this is. We're actually going to be mounted in the center, so we're going to have to go up. Uh, get a little bit longer bolts because this center frame rail is actually three inches wide. Once you have your trailer supported, you need to install the wheels onto the jack. You're gonna, it's going to come with a bearing for each side. You're going to have a flat washer that's going to go in between this plate and the bearing, and between the two bearings in the center, and then one here between this outside plate and the bearing. Then you'll have the nut and the bolt that goes in between or through. And then we're going to take our jack. We'll get it set near where we want to put it. You're going to have two brackets that are going to look like this. We're going to take one bolt. We're going to slide through. We're going to make sure that that U-shape is facing out. Make sure it's not facing in like this. Slide it on like that. And then if you are changing your hardware like I did, um, I'm actually going to put a lock washer on and then the nut. If you're not, the bolts that come in the kit actually come with nylon lock nuts. So we'll get one of these in each one of the corners. Support our jack. And we can come back and make sure it's centered and tighten everything down. So one thing you want to make sure is that your bottom hole you're using holes that are as close to the frame rail as possible. You'll notice that I actually raised it up one that's so that my bolts are as close as possible and I can hit all four holes. Once we get all our hardware in, we'll come back and we'll tighten it all down. Once we have all our hardware tightened down, we're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at the ARC 500 series trailer jack.